episode 5 of Design Centric SimCity. In our last episode, we were trying to reduce the unemployment rate of our city. Right now, we have 1,455 unemployed sims, and we wanted to let the industry right here start making profits so we can actually increase the density real soon. We have uh, an average of, I would say, 200 profit. I think it needs to be it needs to get up to like maybe 300 or almost 400 profit in order for this low density industry to actually grow and bigger factories are going to start developing here that they're going to be providing more jobs for all the sims in, in our city. I'm actually not going to have you sit and wait until that increases. I'm actually going to run this in high speed for your viewing pleasure. But before doing that, um, some of the viewers in the comments said that they wanted to build a mass transit system using railroad and and in this episode we're going to cover that a little bit so right now let's start increasing this i'm actually going to switch back and forth between the different day layers so you can see the progress of our industry So now we have some factories starting to pop up, medium density factories. I think this this is good enough for now. The unemployment is already going down, so we shouldn't worry too much about that at this point. Now let's move on. While this keeps growing, let's extend this beautiful train system and see if it works well. I actually haven't tried this ever. I think this is the first time that I'm placing more than one train station in one city. So bear with me if you haven't done that and you're an expert, please share that in the comment section if I'm screwing things up. Now let's see, where do I, where would I start? As I said, my original idea is to maybe drive the trucks, the train tracks right here, maybe place a train station over here and uh, continue all the way in this corner and then maybe go back in. Now what I want to try to avoid is bulldozing a ton of factories because right now unemployment, even though unemployment is going down, it's not nowhere near nowhere near being close to solve so I don't want to get rid of the few factories that are actually giving jobs to all these people. Having said that, I think we can start developing this. I'm gonna go back to llama speed and start extending this line right here. So. Here's another problem. If I draw this railroad right here, we might have a railroad crossing on this avenue, which might be cause for a ton of traffic, especially when trains are going through. Now, there's two things that we can do. We can actually wait until update seven, I think, which is they announced today they're gonna start, they're gonna allow you to actually build bridges and overpasses which is an amazing news um, so we can either wait until that or just try to I mean honestly I don't think there's really an option um, maybe maybe 
maybe you can place a railroad crossing not right here, but maybe in the middle. That way it's not too close to either of these intersections. And I guess if the traffic gets incredibly bad, I can always convert this avenue into a six lane avenue instead of just a four lane avenue. I think I'm gonna start with diagonal here. One thing that I that I think it's important in terms of railroad is that I think the curves should be very organic and smooth. This doesn't look very realistic to me and I'm actually going to fix it now. Now I need to think where I'm going to place my train station. Hmm. Does it fit here? So it's not going to fit on this side, it's going to fit on this side. Maybe at an angle? Hmm. This is a tricky one. Let's not, let's delete this until I have an idea of where I'm going to place the train station. Okay, I have an idea. Let's try this. Okay, we definitely have to destroy some of the industry. Yeah, I don't think there's a way around it. Let's try to minimize the damage. Actually, let's just pause here. If I do this... Oh, I get rid of that factory too, really. And of course it doesn't fit here. So I might actually have to get rid of these two factories. Just place them here. Hmm. Not really. Okay. Oh, okay, this is what I wanted. So, you know what? Let's just get rid of this entire part of the city. Maybe that. Because what I really want here is to connect this stretch of road to the, I mean, I want this to be the entrance of the railway station. But if I think about it, hmm, because now I have so many railroad crossings. I have this, this, this here. I mean, based on the population that we have, I don't think we're going to have that much traffic. And yeah, I'm not going to worry about that, uh, especially since we're actually building mass transit to actually have people not drive their cars. I think this is right in the middle. Uh, one thing I've heard someone said online on, on a Let's Play video is that apparently... Looks okay. No, that doesn't look okay at all. Apparently... Apparently railway stations actually have the same cover area as a bus so if this is too far for a sim to walk it wouldn't actually take the train and it will drive instead which is kind of a bummer if you ask me I 
There we go. Now, how do I deal with these? Since this is on a curve, I think I might rather place my straight boat here and not in the middle. This is really odd, and I really dislike this automatic turns or corners, I don't know what how to call them, but I think there's no way around that. I, I wish they'd fix that soon. And it's really not because I have a medium uh, density avenue and a high density avenue. Like, even if you connect a high density avenue here, you will still get those uh, pedestrian crossings. But it's fine. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, let's connect this to. I think it would be actually kind of interesting to connect this at an angle. Hmm. That might actually give me some joy. Nope, nope like that. Not like that either. Let's just do it in a way that it doesn't destroy all the factories. Oh, I get it. Okay. It's because it's generating some weird intersection there for some unknown reason. Let's try that now. Okay, I guess the factory's gone now. <laughs> and now let's make this a little bit smoother. Just like so. That looks pretty clean. Looks so, a little bit too perfect. But we're like in the middle of the city, so it actually makes sense if this is somewhat perfect. Uh, let's replenish all the factories that we destroyed. Um, it might be actually a good idea to... I was gonna say like build a road here but we don't need to zone this right now. Speed things up now that we destroy all our sources of workers. Now we're back to 1471. Wow. That's a lot of unemployment. That's fine though. That is fine. Alright, let's get to it. So we have almost 1200 riders commuting here and zero here. That's, that's to be expected, I guess. Okay, new factories. Wow, this is a big factory. Good, good. Making progress. I'm thinking whether or not I want to extend part of this industry towards this area, plant a second train station, and then another one in this neighborhood. Okay, we're starting to get riders. Exciting. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, sometimes I have, just have to zoom in and like, get immersed in the beauty that is this game. I know people complain and I, I mean I also want beer city tiles, but 
Seriously, this is such a pretty game. I love the work that they did here. Today when I heard that they're actually uh, including the option to build your own bridges or overpasses without having to have some sort of altitude in order to do them. I was so excited. That actually made my day. All right, back to constructing. Um, let's see. Uh, where's the... I want to see how the wind is blowing. Oh, this is great. All the wind is blowing in that direction. It's probably going to go... It's probably going to change directions at some point, but that means we can actually build a ton of heavy industry here and get away with it. In fact, let's do this. Let's close the loop here. Bam. Now let's do here. Okay, that's quite a bit of traffic that we have flowing in this direction. So these people here definitely need a train station. All right, let's do that. So I would make this straight and now Oops, guys, we're off. Hmm. Can I connect this as a curve and create a railroad? Of course, of course I can. Looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, now, train station. We are going to need a train station. Maybe we can build it here, not exactly in the middle, just slightly here, so it sort of has a bigger area of influence, because this whole area is actually being covered by this train station here. This, however, as you can see here, this is not covered by this train station, so we better have some big factories here going on, otherwise we would have wasted our time and money. We can always rearrange this. I mean, I can have this factory be facing to the other side, but for now it will work. Again, we have only 30,000 Sims living here, so we haven't hit major roadblocks yet. Okay, I think I should start developing this area before actually continuing here. Oh, I have some bandle buildings. Building fire, okay. Is our fire service not really working? I think it was just a coincidence. Yeah, maybe we should start making it. Making it bigger. Yep. It's very active. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Let's develop this now. I kind of want to maximize my density here, so I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to set two parks here and here and that will be and that will be the guide for my road system okay, there there we go there we go 
Whoa. Why are you building this as an angle? That's not good. Oh, because the actual the city is at an angle, so that, that probably explains why. Still no go? Okay. We will have to do it one by one. that we can oh actually I didn't need that because I could have used this guy a lot of this uh, garbage truck is just spinning in circles I don't know how to how he got here There are no access roads, garbage truck. Where are you going? Oh, we have another one. That's great. That's absolutely great. Okay, let's see. So we definitely have this road right here. And uh, the density tells me that this is how would we mostly optimized? But now we don't really have this. We can't really make this connection. Unless I maybe do this. And now we can do this. There we go works right so now do we need a escape route here I think so yeah I would do escape route here you know just in case um we don't really need high density here let's get rid of the sparks we don't need high density here um Honestly, there isn't really that much of a difference other than the fact that it will create, you know, higher density buildings, but having a higher density four lane avenue doesn't make the traffic go smoother. So let's continue this here, this here. Now it kind of matches the railroad. Oh, that's actually an interesting thing that I totally missed. Do we have enough space here for a factory? I don't think we do. Look, look at the difference in yellow here in this corner. Hmm, we should have optimized for that. Let's get rid of that. There's so much traffic going on here. What is? What are you doing? Oh, because I have a curve road. Is this straight enough? Can I fit a line of trees? I can't. Let's see if I can fit a line of trees now. Can't. Wow. Okay. One more time. Can I feed a land of trees? Can't. Wow, okay. Now it's too much. Okay, let's try it one more time. Maybe here. Yes. Not perfect, but 
good enough. So this is what I'm going to do. Are you ready for this? I'm going to delete these. And I'm actually going to connect this. Say, curve. Now I'm going to upgrade this. Actually, you know what? We don't need high density here. This is going to cause some unexpected headaches. Like, like it happened before with our tall belling that wasn't supposed to be there. There we go. It's a pretty weird, yet organic piece of road. Let's see. Um, this is a problem here. I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's actually build this instead. I'm not gonna make this round because it will reduce the density. Uh, I'm sorry, it will reduce the space in which factories will be built. So I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. In fact, I might even, might even get rid of that. So now it looks slightly more organic per se. There's a little bit of traffic building up here. We have 500 riders, that's cute. That means less cars. Traffic is definitely building up. How many? 470? Where are you going? Oh, they're probably going here. End of line, right here. Good. Let's zone this. Let's zone this. Wind still blowing that direction. Perfect. You can get a couple factories here and there. Let's click here. Click here. And zone, zone, zone. I don't think we can fit any, anything here, but I'll just zone it anyways. How's this looking? Okay. Good. How are we doing unemployment wise? This is great. It's now gone down to 855. It's actually going to get better once we start developing this new neighborhood right here. So I think we're about done for this episode. I will continue to expand the train system in the next one, probably at one or two train stations. If there's anything you want me to build, please leave your ideas in the comment section. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.